Welcome to HDFC Securities 5 Minute Market Wrap Up for the week ended August 2nd. Global equity market weakness pulled down Indian shares on Friday. Nifty ended the week lower by 0.5%. The BSE Midcap Index fell 0.07% this week while the BSE Small Cap Index ended with a gain of 0.6%. BSE Power Index rose by 4.1% while the Nifty Energy Index was up by 2.5%. Nifty Realty Index was the top loser, down 3.6% for the week while the Nifty IT Index fell 3.1%. Among weekly Nifty 50 gainers, NTPC shares were up 6% this week. Among other gainers, BPCL, Asian Paints, Power Grid Corporation, and Divi's Lab increased by more than 4%. Among Nifty 50 top losers, Aisha Motors shares declined 5.9% during the week. Shares of the Demine Tree saw a decline of 5.2%. In select market movers, Shares of Adani Energy rallied 20% after it raised $1 billion via AQIP. Shares of Torrent Power rallied 19% after net profit increased by 87% in the June quarter compared to a year ago. Among losers, shares of Birla Soft fell about 17% after its constant currency revenue fell to 0.7% compared to last quarter. Shares of Sonata Software fell 11% after its June quarter profit declined by 4.4% compared to the March quarter. FII's were net sellers to the tune of Rs 12,757 crores of equities in cash this week. DII's net bought equities to the tune of Rs 17,227 crore in cash this week. The week saw two main board IPOs of Ola Electric and Seagull India. The IPOs close next week. In key macroeconomic news, US Fed kept its key benchmark rate unchanged, but US Fed chairman said that a September rate cut is on the table. US jobs growth slowed sharply in July. Employers added only 114,000 jobs which was much lower than expectations of 175,000 jobs. Bank of Japan raised rates earlier this week and Bank of England cut rates by 25 basis points. German GDP declined by 0.1% quarter-on-quarter in the June quarter compared to expectations of a 0.1% growth. U.S. equity markets witnessed a sharp correction during the week with the Nasdaq closing lower by 2.9%. The Nasdaq Composite is now down more than 10% from its recent high. Moving to bond markets, India's 10-year bond yields declined by 5 basis points helped by lower bond yields in the U.S. U.S. 10-year bond yields have declined by 55.6 basis points over the past month on expectations of multiple rate cuts by the U.S. Fed in this calendar year. In this section we discuss select research reports published by our research teams. The same can be accessed on our website. Maruti Suzuki June quarter profits surpassed our estimates, led largely due to a 90 basis point decline in raw material costs due to benign commodity prices and favorable forex. We maintain buy with a target price of 13,767. Kyle's June quarter profit was ahead of estimates driven by robust gas transmission volumes, robust profitability in gas trading and better than expected petrochemicals profitability. Maintain a buy with an increased target price of rupees to 48. In Eden Oil profit came in below estimates. We have a reduced rating with a target price of Rs 163 rupees on the premise of margin pressure due to increasing pet chain supplies, moderation in refining margins and lower auto fuels marketing margin. Tata Motors CV market share was impacted by financing issues. Lower volumes impacted India passenger vehicles business profitability. We maintain a sell rating with a target price of Rs 940 per share. Sriram Finance reported strong June quarter results with AUM growth of 
Our retail research team expects a 19% compounded profit growth over the next two years. We have assigned base case fair value of Rs 3,225. That is all for this week. Do refer to the detailed disclaimer on your screens. The securities discussed in the presentation were for information and educational purposes only. Thank you.